update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, mid-afternoon update for TFNN. We've got uh, stocks are slightly higher. Uh, they were a little bit higher. They've sold off uh, a little bit. Now, what I've done today, we always talk about algorithmic traders and how important they are using mathematics in the market each day. And this is what we were looking at coming in today. We were almost at two standard deviations. And if you are down four or five days in a row at two standard deviations, the odds are the NASDAQ has a really strong probability of making a some type of a bounce. How much? No one knows that, but usually that's what is going to happen. Now, what I'm going to do now, this was two hours before the opening, and then after the opening occurred, I want to bring up and show you where this rally started from. As you can see here, uh, we are looking at a uh, really nice, uh, perfect hit exactly to the tick at two standard deviations. We've had a nice rally, almost making the 382 off of that high from that area. So that that's what I'm trying to, you know, give you some information because these numbers are out there and they are in the universe for everybody to use. These big firms like BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard, they use them. They have a whole group of mathematicians that do nothing but look at the markets how do I know that? Well, I've met some of these dudes, and I've been in some of those offices. That's how I know. We happen to have a relative really way up in the food chain at Blackwell, at BlackRock, and uh, he's always very helpful on uh, things that we're looking at here each day. Uh, our guest tomorrow is going to be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. I think that's something that we all like to see come back because he's had some tremendous calls and he's kind enough to come back here to uh, talk to us tomorrow. Now, we had one other question here about Bitcoin. Uh, yesterday's move, as you can see here, we've had the big drop. We rallied up to the 382. We've stayed there. We haven't gone much above it. So as long as we don't go above that, there's a, still a chance that this thing could uh, roll over. What's interesting about this chart is you'll notice the volume down here, folks. It's like 20 or 30 times normal. We had a big day way back here, but you can see here, this one was just really a barn burner. Let's take a break here. We're gonna go over some charts when we get back. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and stay tuned.